turn your points on, and then zoom in to this bottom part here, because we're going to now make this a really cool shape. When I first heard about the YouthQuest STEM program, I knew it was something I wanted to be involved in. I really felt that, that 3D printing offered a lot to encourage students to be more creative, to learn about thinking, because that's the key. When we learn how to think and we learn how to be creative and use our brains in different ways than we normally use them, then we can use that in any part of our lives. It's not about making cheap plastic parts. That's the first thing I tell everybody about 3D printing. It's about being able to be, come up with a vision and then realize that vision in some concrete way. What I found from the very first class was that they were extremely excited. And these are kids that generally weren't so excited about school. I'm here because I was three years behind in school. I was getting in trouble. Eating, watching TV, not caring about school. Started getting uh, into drugs, dropping out of school. I got pregnant at the age of 16. They're students who have uh, very different lives, and this is their last chance. I would never go to school. I would always skip. I would always smoke, and I would always drink. I ended up pregnant, and I had my son, and then I was attending school, but then I just decided to quit. Just sleeping, watching TV, just not going to school. You know, I used to get in trouble a lot. I used to do the stupid dumb stuff. I just didn't really care. So the first question they asked when they came into the classroom was, are we in trouble? They didn't even know why they were there. Are we in trouble? They, they had been separated out from the rest of the students. And that meant to them they must be in trouble. They called my name and I'm looking like, what am I in here for? I, I'm thinking we're, we might be in trouble, we might be going on a trip, we're, who knows what we're doing. And then they start to explain that we're working with a 3D printer and I'm kind of thinking, well, what's a 3D printer? Does it print paper? Does it print plastic? What? I like 3D movies, you know what I mean? So when I heard the word, the word 3D, you know, it caught my attention, you know, I'm like, what? We're going to make it 3D? They were instantly drawn to the fact that this thing was doing something. I mean, when they came in, first thing we did was print something out so that they could see that, yes, you can print an object. Well, that just pulled them right in. It is like, it just prints in layers, goes line by line, because it starts with the outline first and then just fills it in and then goes to the outline again. The 3D printing class needed two things. It needed a, a, a hardware platform and it needed a software platform. You've got to be able to visualize something, use it in software, convert it to something that the 3D printer uses. The Cube 3D printer I'd already been interested in because it was the first consumer 3D printer and it was easy, small, lightweight, meaning that you could pick it up and you could take it back in an office and lock it up. So in that environment, it was excellent to be used in the classroom. As important as the cube was, it was equally important and maybe even more important to come up with a software platform that would be easy enough to use that cadets that have no experience at all with 3D printing, no experience at all with 3D design, could be able to learn it and use it. And for me, that, there was only one choice, and that was moment of inspiration. So we contacted uh, the person that uh, owns moment of inspiration and develops it, and immediately he donated uh, copies of the software for us to use. And I'm, I'm very grateful to that, because I don't think we could have done this with many software packages. Almost the first or second class, it was clear that there were some that were getting it faster than others, but that they wanted to help the others. They didn't ridicule them for not knowing. They went over and they helped them. When I get messed up on some of the stuff, because I'm not going to lie to you, this stuff is pretty hard. You know, I can ask my fellow cadets any help, any time, and you know, they just help me right away. It's all a part of the, the academy about being cohesion, about not leaving somebody behind if they're back or they need help in something, not putting them down. It's just a matter of helping them get to where they need to be. We all go around and help each other. Even if we don't know what we're doing, we still try to do it. Just experiment with it. That's basically what it's about. 3D printing 
is not an end in itself. It's a means to an end. And that end is to grow our brains. It's a way for us to have a pathway to conceive of an idea, to develop that idea, to test that idea over and over and over with iterative changes. And, and the most important part of that process is learning to fail. And I, in particular, in this group of kids, uh, they were afraid to fail, yet they failed. Uh, they were used to failing, but they would give up. In 3D printing, what they learned was, it's okay to fail as, as long as you see that failure as a way to make changes and go on to success. And that's what they did over and over again. I, it was just really cool to watch that process. I made this this, um, this morning. It's a, a base to a process, uh, mechanic arm we're gonna do. We're gonna attach two um, bars from here to here and we're gonna screw them on so then it's like a lever right here. But um, I'm redesigning it and right now so we could uh, get a more sturdy design and everything for it. Every one of them said that it, it changed their life in some way, that it changed their attitude toward life, the way they looked at life, the way they were going to go forward uh, and, and meet challenges in the future, every one of them. I came here to change my, my life, want to get a better future for me and my baby girl in a way. And I want to be an electrician. It can help me on creative and creative positions because in an electrician you had to be a, a electrician and at the same time you had to um, do stuff like how to deal with pipes, go in directions. So it's helping me on being creative with my mind and material around me. Being in this program is building up my resume and I think that's going to help me on finding a really good job especially in engineering and design. I want to be a mechanic, so once I get out of here, I want to go to uh, Lincoln Tech and, you know, for I can start my mechanic career, you know, become an engineer. And I'm going to study for it, too, because that's what I want to be. It's not what I have to be, you know. I want to be uh, go to school for graphic designing, you know, to work on games and cartoons and all that. And this program has actually helped me out doing that, too, sir. That's why I'm very happy I'm in this program, the 3D program. First thing I want to do is be an electrician. And in the downward job, I'm probably work with computers like IT and all that. And I think this program will help you with, if you want to become a like, computer tech, computer wizard, or something like that. For me, it's going to help me because I'm going to be able to know how to make new stuff for, for kids because I want to be a nurse so I can do research on you know how to help kids that don't have that enough money to buy all the expensive stuff, you know. And they kind of got me excited about it, thinking that I'm the first person in Free State, well, the first class in Free State that has actually been able to do this. I'm kind of paving the road for everybody else, so we're kind of trying things out here, something new. It's the start of my, my life, changing my life and then starting over again. I want to be successful, and this program, it gave me, it gave me the right mindset to uh, be successful, and that's what I'm gonna do.